Alignment is an important concept in creating professional looking compositions. Fortunately, Adobe Illustrator makes it extremely easy to line up objects using the Align tools. In this tutorial, we'll look at some of those tools and how to use them. So here I have a document that has some example green bars, but they're not aligned in any way at all. I can select all of them and using my Align palette, I can align them in different ways. If you don't have your Align palette already open, you can go to Window, Align, and it will show up. So here I have them all selected and in my align palette, say I want to align them to the left. I can click this horizontal align left button and they'll all jump to the left. Similarly, I can align them to the right by clicking the horizontal align right button. And I can also have them align to the center if I want. Now this looks much better, but I may not want such uneven spacing in between my bars. That still looks a little strange. So I can also use this distribute menu at the bottom to distribute them vertically so that they have even spacing in between each bar. Here's another example using a horizontal composition of circles. I've made these circles so that they are even in size with the smallest ones being the same, but this isn't really the composition I want. I want them aligned nicely. I could start doing this by hand by kind of getting them closer to aligned, but this is still going to take a long time. It's much easier to do it precisely using the align tools. So I'm going to select everything, and in this case I can align them vertically to the top. I could also align them vertically to the bottom or I could align them to the center and they'll all go to the center. If I'm trying to create a composition that's very precise and I already have a shape in place the way I want it, I can also make all the objects jump around a particular shape by once I have them all selected, click on that shape again, it gets this sort of darker edge around it to show that it's the primary object and now I can choose to align them and all the other shapes jump into place around that selected object. Now this looks better, but again, I have this uneven spacing in between things. Here I even have some overlapping, so that's not what I want. Now I'm going to use the distribute panel and make them distribute center. Well, now they're evenly distributed, but this again might not be exactly what I want, because as you can see, it didn't distribute the shapes, it distributed their centers, so there's an even amount of space in between each center but that might not be what you want if your shapes are different sizes. So here's another way to distribute objects in a more precise way. On your align panel, you, have, you can click on this little drop down and pick show options. Now you have this distribute spacing, which is more of an absolute spacing, and you can pick exactly how much you want in between each object. To use this, you have to select a primary object by having all your objects selected and then clicking on one again to become your primary object. I'm going to pick the one at the far left because I want them to sort of spread out that direction. Now I can pick any value to put in here. I'm going to pick 10 pixels, so then I'm going to have 10 pixels in between each circle. And I'm going to click this horizontal distribute space. Now I have exactly 10 pixels in between each shape. I can also do a negative value if I wanted to have them sort of overlapping. Maybe I'm going to do something like negative 25 and again I'll hit the horizontal distribute space button and now they're all aligned with some overlap. From there I could add effects or do whatever I want but I have already started with a solid composition and all my objects aligned.